Oh my god! Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Oh oh La da 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 oh 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 La da 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 oh 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 La da 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 Be angry Who's going to be angry? You can hang in love with the tree In the river, in the Christmas lights In my little hat To me And when we wake up in the morning Singing all the melodies until the sun comes up. These are the good times with you. Good morning, Zitandwa Zami. Good morning, Zitandwa Zami. Welcome to a new day of the vlog. Cut that. Guys, I have been vlogging every single day for the past few days. So. I don't even know if this is the start of a new vlog, but I think it is. Okay, we're starting a new vlog. Hi, Zisanda Zami. Welcome to a new vlog. My name is Nomza Mungwane. If you're new here. Oh, my God. Hi, Zisanda. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Nomza Mungwane. If you're a regular, thank you so much for dropping back by. But if you're new, why don't you hit the subscribe button and become a part of my family. Zisanda Zami, today, it is the 16th of December. It is a Saturday. It is a Saturday. Uh, we are off to bounce, but ba -ba bounce. I'm taking the kids, well, the whole family. We're going to bounce. Just have a nice chill day. Then we'll go out for lunch slash dinner. Yeah, the time now is, I, I think it's 10 past 9. We are aiming to be out of the house by 10 o'clock. And the weather just changed on us. It was raining this morning. Now it's getting a bit sunny. So I think I need to consider something else to wear. I was thinking of wearing a check set. Uh, like sweatpants and a, and a sweater but now the weather has changed so i think i'm just gonna wear something chilled but obviously pants because i want to jump <laughs> so yeah that's the plan let me go shower it says no you know it says no figure they they're in the shower together i'm gonna go shower quickly hilton i've sorted him out he's ready i need to shower get dressed and then my husband and Gina will shower together as well so yeah let's go shower welcome 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 <laughs> yeah what's in your case what's in your case as it's hand was on me what the hell <laughs> just finished showering but I wanted to tell you guys a little story about this although my mic is not intact my husband bought these all on his own all on his own and i am a proud wife because i didn't even ask for it he just told me that he realized that we need more decorations for the tree i was like what he used to complain a lot when i buy like deco stuff for the tree be like this is a waste of money every year you're buying this thing so this year i was like you know what He's right i'm not buying anything i'm just going to put up the tree as is and use whatever i have yesterday i get home to this shame my hubby he's learning let me go dressed i took a shower already i just need to get dressed i don't even know what i'm wearing still but yeah i needed this you my outfit i've got 
got on my Adidas. Where's my blue box? Oh. Adidas uh, sweatpants. Mm -hmm. This black top, I think it's from Mr. Price. <laughs> Zara bag. <laughs> my jewelry from. My jewelry from Fushini, which I love so much. I think they just complete the look. Let's go. The princess is wearing a Christmas shirt. Christmas shirt from Woolworths. And track set from HM. This is from HM. Excuse me. Yes. The techies are from Fushini. Fushini. And my face. From my side. From mommy. Your yeah. pretty face from mommy. Do you understand this side? Mommy did my hair. Yes. Junior, go that side by the tree. You are wearing top and pants from HM. Techies Lacoste. <laughs> Techies from Lacoste. Let's go. Mr. Hill is sleeping, so you can't see him. Huh? Help, Auntie. Let's go. Such a bag, yes, it. Give her the bag, Figgy. We are going. We are going to Tandra. Let's go. It's fine, bring yours. Junior, show yours. 
Should I bring your arm? Sonia. Do like this. Bring your arm. Do like this. Don't move, okay? It's white outside. And the night is cold. Everyone's lighting candles in their homes Yes, it's Christmas It's a magic time You can feel it in the air to bounce we went out as a family for for fun like it was a, an outing i mean bounce is not cheap so it was something that i i planned ahead and we we're going to go out for lunch slash dinner like i said yesterday um but um things took a turn when figile my kids nanny got hurt um I said, don't come here, ma. I'm talking on the vlog. I'm fine. Stay in your room, play with your phone. What is Papa, Mama? As I was saying that things took a turn. When Figula got hurt. Um, you guys are so emotional yesterday. I didn't want to go on the vlog. I didn't want to vlog anymore. Um, I didn't want to do anything afterwards. So this is what happened. As she got into the trampoline, um, she just fell. She was trying to jump. She fell. And then she... Um, apparently, there's a fraction on her knee. Kneecap or something. Kneecap or something like that. Uh, we had to... Or the paramedics obviously attended to her at um, Bounce. And then uh, that was around... Because we booked a session for 1 o'clock. The incident happened just before half past one i think it was 20 past one um and then yeah the paramedics attended to her they said that no there's no bone broken because she could still like um kneel her leg you know she was in pain she was crying like i'm getting goosebumps talking about this but i'm just here to update you guys because it yesterday was supposed to be just to spend a day with us 
um, I like doing this like with uh, my family, uh, especially with like my helpers, my my kids' nannies. Like before they go, because Figula is going home, was meant to go home this Friday uh, on the twenty second. So I'm, I we could have done this activity next week when she's gone. But I, the the intention was that I take her out as well. Like we go out, we go uh, to Roko Mama's afterwards. Like it, that was the whole plan. I feel so bad like I felt so bad because I felt like responsible for everything that happened uh, but she keeps telling me it's not my fault obviously I didn't put her on the trampoline but I did after jumping I said you know what because she, she jumped before me first right because I was holding I said I hold the baby because I wanted her to have fun she jumped she jumped with the kids my husband everyone I held Hilton and then she she took the baby she, it's my turn i went right and then i was tired i said okay it's your turn now and she was so excited she was like i'm gonna show you how, how it's done you tired so quickly she was laughing at me as she got in and she hurt her knee right and she was crying she was in pain guys so obviously we took her to the well the paramedics attended to her like my story i'm sure it's all over the place because i am all over the place i was such an emotional wreck yesterday it was an emotional wreck it and i was just an emotional wreck yesterday I was bowling, like, especially when I spoke to my mom and my best friend, because I phoned my mom, I think, first. Oh, no, my mom phoned me, actually, as we were waiting for her while the paramedics were attending to her, and I told her, so she was checking up on me. I told her, you know, and I started crying. And then, while my husband and I are, like, thinking, what, what are we going to do? And we busy at the hospital, because we had to drive her to the hospital. Um... I phoned my, my best friend, like, I'm like, what am I going to do? Like, you know, I was, I was like, I feel so bad. Like, I keep blaming myself. I didn't sleep even well because I keep blaming myself. I'm like, why? Why did we have to go out? Why? Like, why? Why did we have to go to Bounds? Like, we could have gone elsewhere, but she was so excited. Like, yo, it breaks my heart. You guys, I'm sure you could literally hear her voice in the background while she was taking videos of me and my family while we were in. She was like, hyping us up and laughing at me she was so excited we took beautiful pictures yo like guys yo i love this girl so much and like hilton doesn't know anyone else like ophigile started here while i was pregnant um and baby hilton only knows her and she adores her so much well he adores her so much and it was it as well like you know when Isit was crying because I tried to hide my my, my emotions and like me being teary, Isit you could see like I was trying to hide it. So she started crying. We got home. She was like, she didn't want to eat. She wanted to do anything. So while we were there, Juna keeps on saying he's hungry, he's hungry, he's hungry. And you know when you've promised kids that you're going to go somewhere, when we said they wanted to go to Roko Mama, so we went because we were just waiting. There's a queue at the hospital. We had to wait. <laughs> So we took, to Rose, we took the kids to Rocco Mama's, we had a bite, got food for essays, went back. So like we were in and out of hospital. They wanted to go inside. They were crying. They wanted to see her like her. But yeah, basically that's what happened. She's in hospital right now. Um, I spoke to her last night at around, I think it was 12 midnight or 1 a.m. Uh, I bought her some data and stuff just so, so that we can video call her and stuff. She said that she's still waiting because they need to move her from the hospital that she's in. She needs to go to the, to the specialist. Where, she needs to go to a hospital where they are specialists where they're going to do a surgery because apparently um, her disc or something shifted or something, something like that. She needs surgery, guys. And I was praying, God, that let it not be surgery. Like when they check her again this morning, and they check the skin properly, let it not be surgery, let it be something that, you know, that she can be fine by Christmas, like yo, because I decided to just take her out, like yo, like, okay, guys, I am an emotional wreck, yo, like the fact that I'm talking now and I'm trying like, to put myself together because it said to hurt me when I was about to break down, she came here. So that's the story. Her recovery apparently is about six to eight weeks if she does the surgery. That's another thing I need to worry about. Uguti, what am I going to do without a figile? Because umuzo amije unama step easy. Step easy from down, from the outside, step easy inside, steps inside. Angzazi uguti ngiyini. Tomorrow is Monday, I have to work. I'm not okay emotionally to be working, but I've just started a new role. 
there's a lot going on there's a, just a lot going on and like i stayed up last night because i've got so much footage that i was i wanted to edit and and for me youtube and editing i love editing and much as i complain about it sometimes i enjoy editing so i spent a lot of, i edited three videos last night because i couldn't sleep i just kept editing this video uploading editing uploading because i was like you know i already have the footage and it just kept me up and looking at the videos like with the figure you guys you've seen those videos you only see well you've seen these videos by the time you see this video when she cooked for me like there's so many moments that we shared with her like the way she was showering me with love for my birthday like this weekend i was like what what but my husband keeps telling me that it could have been something worse um it could have been something worse we need to be grateful that it's just her knee but how do you how are you grateful when someone is, is hurt like yo let me end this vlog i'm making porridge for my kids and i need to make breakfast i'd make an appointment to go relax my hair works i don't even know i'm able i'm going to do that like i'm my heart is not in a good space i'm not in a good space um but maybe that's going to help me just leave the house go do those things and also just leaving the kids with it oh daddy oh my word On a brighter note, like when I woke up at 2 a.m. Um, after talking to Figile, I saw a message from my sister-in-law, my husband's little sister, because it was my birthday. Um, she sent me a, what's this thing here? E wallet. Um, like it just made me happy. She's like, happy birthday. Um, this is your gift. Obviously, she's in Joburg. And I was like, oh my God, you don't know how much this means to me. It's not even about the value. I don't know how much it is. It's just the fact that it's a thought that she decided to do this for me at a time where I was like in such a mess. Yo, that made me so happy. I said, oh my God, I really needed something to cheer me up. And I'm sure she's like, <laughs> but it's, it's the gesture, you know, I needed someone to do that. You know, yo guys, you know what, let's just end this vlog. <laughs>